it's not just about us being in the roles. It's not just about us being president or vice president. The things we do now can have really long-term impacts 15 years from now. So while we, we may not see 100 new faculty of color and 100 new faculty who are women here at OSU, we might lay the groundwork so 10 years from now we do have all those members here. So I think that's something to keep in mind with, within these roles is you have goals and you have to maintain what goals can we actually do. So we talked about representation again is a good example. We want to bring faculty of color, but we also want to have students from underrepresented communities here at OSU be a part of our cabinet, be a part of our, of our ASOSU. We want them to be able to have a voice here. That's something we can do by the end of the year, by the end of this school year, while we're um, in our elect positions should we win. So I think there's, it's balancing because there are certain things where you have to understand it's out of, outside of your control, but you also have a lot of influence um, from being within those roles. We talk about representation. We really want to bring up the voices of students who feel like they aren't being heard. Um, you know, Trenton has come comes from a very different community than I do. He understands what it means to be a student of color on campus. I understand what it means to be a woman on campus. We have a lot of different life experiences, but those overlap well to be able to connect with more of the student body. We both really value the importance of perspectives. People come from really different life backgrounds, a lot of different um, stories, and so we want to be able to say how do we bring those stories to the table and how do we promote what they've experienced to the best of our abilities and put those students in leadership roles, have them have the access to information they need so everybody is able to learn and grow as a community.